I really want to watch this Finn McKenty video uh, because I'm very curious what he has to say. You know, I, I know that Finn is uh, a much maligned figure right now for, like, the reaction community or of people. You know, I, I get it. I understand. But I am a big fan of Finn. I love his kind. I hate to be that guy, but I'm one of those that I was subscribed to him on the Punk Rock NBA. I remember it was he had less than a thousand subscribers. I, I've watched a lot of this guy's content. I first found him through wanting to learn more about band marketing, um, and uh, I I really I I, I enjoy his content. Uh, you know his opinions. Obviously, here's the thing, right? Like if he doesn't like a band that I like, it is what it is. But I am very curious what. He's gonna say in this video, let's check it out. What's up everybody, I'm Finn McKenty. This is my second channel and this is your home for my Twitch highlights and yes. my podcast. So if you like this and you wanna see more of that and you wanna join the live streams, there's a link to that in the description of this video. And with that out of the way, let's get into it. What I wanted to talk about was the reaction to my era video and just kind of the reaction to yeah. my reviews in general and yeah. talk about something that I realized from it. I did this review of the new yeah, if you read the comments in his era video, they went after him. New era song uh, last week. Not era, and but people. People were not happy about it. And my criticisms of it were very mild. Essentially, you can go back and watch it if you yeah. want. But basically what I said is, I think the song is decent. These guys are clearly talented. I understand why people would like it. But my personal opinion is that these guys should push themselves to do something a little bit different because I feel like they're kind of repeating themselves. I've heard this from them before. Mm -hmm. I thought that was pretty mild. But people were not happy. About I will say just in like a kind of risk, like as somebody who listens to era now, I couldn't real. I, and I've talked to JT. I had him on my podcast, JT Cavey, the vocalist of era. I couldn't get into era before their self-titled record. I felt like the self-titled record still had shades of old era, but it was a lot more of an accessible sound about it people were mad like this is one of my least popular videos that i've ever made no finn it's not over referring to gent i really try to understand where you're coming from but sometimes it feels like you're just being contrarian for the sake of being of being so also currently sitting at 153 dislikes to 880 likes i'm a little surprised the ratio isn't even higher i mean that is like five times as many dislikes as i normally get which i wasn't expecting wait how are they seeing the dislikes man can we see dislikes on youtube again well, how, how that happen for such a mild opinion. Whenever I see your videos, you always seem to have way more negative things to say than positive. I think you need to keep way more open-minded. Your mind was clearly made up before even watching the video. I used to love your content, but damn, you have fallen off with your inconsistent and contradictory takes lately. Okay. A lot of people saying in so many words, like, man, I used to like your content, but now you disagreed with me on this band and I'm not going to watch your stuff anymore. I got a lot of the same stuff. I made a video about Eskimo Callboy, which again, I thought was pretty mild. I said, hey, I get what these guys are doing. It works for them. To me personally, I think it's kind of gimmicky and novelty and like goofy. I would like to see them do something a little bit more serious. But again, that's just my personal opinion. Yeah, so my thing with Eskimo Cowboy is, and for the sake, because, you know, doing reaction videos, they're a fun band to do reaction videos to. You know, they get clicks, people watch it. But I never really, like, return and listen to them. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't really uh, return to listen to them. Um, I can appreciate the music in and of itself, uh, like when I'm listening to it or doing a reaction to it, but they're not really a band that I go back and listen to. As a reviewer. Another one that people didn't like was my Limp Biscuit album, a Limp Biscuit review. I said essentially the same thing, like, this is okay, it doesn't suck, but I think it could be better. And it was kind of frustrating because what I realized is that people don't want a review. People don't want your opinion. What people want is to have their taste validated. They don't want to have a thought. And as a reactor, I can I can agree to this for the most part because, and I'll tell you why, I get comments sometimes that I, I find these comments a little strange. And I'll tell you what they are. And I'm not saying strange as in like the person is strange, but just in the context of the video that I'm making, which is a reaction, a review, blah, 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 blah. I always get the comments that say, dude, great video, great reaction, which I think that that's weird. Or like people, you know, they'll say something like, I didn't like your reaction. But it's like, but it's my reaction. <laughs> Like, what do you mean if it's great or you don't like it? It's just a reaction. What happens is what happens. It's not good or bad. It's just what happens. 
But I think that that is kind of what Finn is talking about a little bit here is that people go to reaction videos a lot of the times, right? Like, of course, there's some people who watch reaction channels to find new music, and that's cool. But a lot of people want to go watch people enjoy the song that they already enjoy, if that makes sense discussion about music what they want is to hear somebody on the internet validate their opinion and i realized that what people really expect is for all reviews to be gushingly positive there's a lot of people who if they don't like my review of their favorite band they might unfollow me they might stop watching my videos and yeah. that's a problem because this is how i support our family so I was like, well, fuck, do I have to just like circle jerk everything now? Like, do I have to just say positive things about every band or people are going to stop watching my videos and I'm not going to be able to make a living? Like, is that, do I have to lie? Like that was my initial reaction to be honest is that I was like, all right, well, I give up. I'm just going to lie. I'm just going to, from now on, I'm never going to say anything negative about bands. I know what people want me to say. I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to give in and pander to the audience because that's what they want. And this is how I make my living. I'm just okay. tired of everyone being angry at me. I don't want people to unfollow me. I give up. That was my initial reaction, to be honest. That would be, you know, selling out to me. Like if I was to lie and say things I don't yeah, mean I'm for the sake of views and money. It sounds like he's not going to follow through with that, which I like. I, I definitely, I understand that, you know, this is his job. I know that he also, uh, you know, works um, for URM Academy and whatnot, but uh, I definitely don't want him to do that. You know, I think that, I think that his opinion is, is valid and a lot of people can disagree with it. Again, I am somebody that when I listen to era now, like the current material, yeah, I disagree with Finn, but, I, but, but, his one video where I'm like, ah, man, like, you know, hey, it is what it is. And, and I move on. But there are some people, like Finn is talking about, who really hold his, like, hold, like get very angry about it. And I experienced a little bit of this when I reacted to Nightwish and I did not like it. I'm telling you right now, man, if you go to that video, I, I, I could pull it up. But that video probably has a thousand dislikes, like straight up. That would be selling out. And I don't want to do that. But on the other hand, like, to be honest, that, that was my reaction. That's what I thought. However, I thought about it a little more and I changed my mind. I All said, right. you know, I understand this is going to hold me back in some ways. Yep. People are going to be pissed off at me. Yep. Some people aren't going to follow me. True. By being honest, I understand that I'm not going to have the biggest channel. This will hurt my income, but I'm going to be honest anyway. And I will tell you why, because I think it's important for people to be honest. Like we can't yes. live in a world in which we just expect everyone to mirror our opinions. It's bigger than just music too. It is. And I think that's important because as a creator, like if you're not honest, that will reflect on you negatively eventually. Uh, that's why like for me, if you go back, I would, if you go back and watch, uh, you know, even my channel that I have now or the true shot channel, when I was doing reactions there, I was, you know, because we had a lot more, because like with my channel now, I kind of pick and choose my spots more. But with True Shot, you know, we got a lot of Patreon requests, and I did not like a lot of stuff. Like, and that's just the way that it was, you know, it's just the way that it was. Is important in music, but I think it's particularly important outside of music. And I'll explain why. Most people only want to hear shit they agree with because it's comfortable. So I want to talk a little bit about sort of the decision to continue being honest, even though I understand that, that I'm going to get heat for that. There's going to be, be people that unfollow my channel and, you know, I'm going to make less money from it. And honestly, it is unpleasant, like getting this many negative comments. I don't like it. People think I'm trolling or that I'm deliberately trying to, you know, rile people up for views. It could not be less true. I have never done that. Like, I, I don't like that. I don't like people being angry at me. I actually hate it. I want to make stuff that yeah. people enjoy. I want to make people laugh. However, I think that it is an inevitable consequence of being honest that you're going to make people mad. And I think it's important. I'm going to give you three reasons why. Before he gets into his reasons, I think a big part of it is this. You ha he is he does a very good job at creating uh, very clickbaity thumbnails, which unfortunately is a byproduct of just being on YouTube. Like you just have to do that. I mean, that's just the way that it goes. And I think what happens is that I don't think people, it's almost like the equivalent of somebody reading a headline for an article, but not reading the article. I think that a lot of people will see his thumbnail, maybe watch a minute or two, and then they're like, okay, this guy, you know, X, Y, or Z opinion about him. When in reality, I mean, I was in the stream when he listened to ERA. Uh, 
he 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 didn't like. He wasn't like a big fan of the song necessarily, but he wasn't like, oh, this is trash. This is the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. Screw this. How dare they take the guitar off of them? Throw them in a river? No, he wasn't saying all that stuff. Has it been worked in the music industry? The guy knows what he's talking about. Just a few takes I don't agree with. Yeah, and that and that's exactly like he he's been around the block. And again, I I disagree with him too about Era. Like I like the new Era material. Like, is it like my favorite song or favorite band in the world? No, but I, I like JT. JT's a cool guy. Um, and uh, you know I do like the newest Era material. Yeah, didn't he call you Dick Jam for? A while? Yeah, he. Yeah, every time I go into his chat, he calls me Dick. Which you know, listen, Finn. I mean, I might be on these people's side here. You know, I'm not a 65 year old man quite yet. Okay. So I agree on the one. I think it's. I just want to read nipples. I'm sorry to keep keep pausing. I agree on the era material, but uh, I have been saying that about them since their first release. Yeah, I couldn't get into the old era stuff, but the new stuff I can get into. But I I can understand why. Better for artists. Okay. I don't know the guys in era, but if I did, let's say they sent me that song. I know lots of people in bands who send me demos and shit like that. They yep. say, hey, here's our new song. What do you think? I don't reply to them and just say, hell yeah, man, that's awesome. That's the best thing I've ever heard. Because that's not what they want from me. They want my yeah. honest feedback. Right. And if the guys in ERA sent me that song and asked me what I thought, I would tell them exactly that. I would say, hey, there's nothing wrong with this, but I think you guys have done songs like this a lot. Personally, I would like to hear you do something a little bit different, like just push yourselves out of the comfort zone a little bit. And that is totally fair feedback. No artist, unless yeah. they have just the thinnest fucking skin, are just purely motivated by ego. And listen, if you go to his video about ERA, JT did comment on it. He said, my goal in 2022 is to have a song that Finn likes. So, I mean, listen. No, no artist is going to get mad if you say that to them. It doesn't help artists to just circle jerk them and tell them everything they make is great. And they don't want that. Now, to be clear, I'm not going to tear things down. Yeah. I'm not here to shit on anything. I don't want to drag anybody's art through the mud. Like, if I oh. really hate something, I'm just not going to make a video about it. Because that's not what I'm here to do. I will roast something. I'll make fun of their shoes or their hair or something like that, which I feel fine about. Making fun of yeah. somebody wearing a leather wrist cuff, that's fine. True. But I'm never going to make just a horrible video saying, this band fucking sucks, this exactly. is trash, why would anybody listen to this, rah, rah, rah. I would never do that. Not going to lie, I thought you were pretty harsh on Wage War in the past. I love the band, but fuck, man, it's healthy to disagree. I'm not that much of a fan to take your criticism as a, criticism as a personal attack. It's not my band. I, I may have been a little bit too harsh on them. I agree with that. I, you know, I sort of, I was a little bit snarky about that. And I think that was a little bit rude on my part. I kind of feel bad about that. I, I'm not perfect. If I ever say something in a shitty way, if I ever say something that like makes an artist feel bad, that that's not cool. And I regret that. And I would happily apologize for that. But I'm not going to apologize for giving somebody constructive feedback on their music artists appreciate it when a fan tells them you're great your music is amazing i yeah. love everything you've ever put out like they appreciate that there's a place for that but they also appreciate someone giving them constructive feedback on how they could be better yes. just like i do i read all, all my comments partly because of that sometimes the people who leave me negative comments are right and i listen to that sometimes they say it in a shitty way but i appreciate it so i think it's really important for the sake of artists and creators of any kind that we give them honest feedback. That's yeah. point number one. Point number two, like people in the Before it gets into point number two, yeah, I, I agree. I think that that is very important. I think a lot of people who, you know, bands especially that watch reaction channels, I know I, I know that they enjoy when people are like, you know, not just like, they're the, they're the so thick, man. All right, see you next week or whatever, you know, like they, they, when they get into it and they really discuss it, I mean, I've talked to, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to name drop here, uh, but, but just for the sake of the content, you know, I've talked to Jamie from Polaris. I've talked to uh, Cody from Wage War. You know, they really, they, we, we've talked about some of the content that I made surrounding their bands. And I, I, you know, I call it, I just, I treat each song individually. You know, it is what it is. So there's going to be some song. If you love everything that you ever listen to for the rest of your life, I mean, that's just not honest. It just isn't. The chat have said it's better for me as a creator for my mental health for one if all i'm going to do is just lie for views and say shit that i don't really believe and just yeah. like circle jerk the fucking band of the week because i know that that's what their fans want yeah. like i might as well just get a real job right <laughs> like if you have to lie <laughs> and kiss the boss's ass every day you True. might as well just go get a real job and that brings me to kind of the third part the most important part of this is that it's not healthy for the fans either 
you should not want to live in a world where everybody in the media is just pandering to you and telling you what you want to hear. That's mm. not healthy. You should not want to live in a world in which every creator is tripping over themselves to pander to you and validate all your opinions because what that means is that you will live in a filter bubble. And just the same as artists can't progress without getting honest feedback on their work and areas that they can improve, mm. it's the same for all of us as humans. You should deliberately expose yourself to opinions that you disagree with for the sake of challenging your beliefs about music, obviously, but just about life in general. Kara Swisher is a good good example of this. She's like a tech yeah. journalist. I can't fucking yeah, stand Yeah, I did, her. Mike. Yeah. I think her opinions are horrible. I disagree with her on almost everything, but I still follow her and I pay attention to her because as much as I disagree with her, she knows her shit. She's smart. She's super connected. And there are times where I have to kind of begrudgingly admit she's got a point. I really don't want to admit it. Yeah. I mean, how many of y'all have done that, you know, on Twitter or whatever, like you see tweets from people, you know, it doesn't even necessarily, I know that, you know, the first thing people are going to talk about is politics. Not necessarily need to go down that realm, but there has been times where I've seen opinions that I'm kind of like, what? Uh, no, no. And then there's some that I've been, it's from the same person that I'm like, I listen, they got a point, you know, it is what it is. You know, it just, you just, you just gotta be true to yourself and whatever, like whatever your experience is, whether it's music or anything else in life, you know, if, if, if you see an opinion that you're like, okay, that makes sense to me, own it, you know, except for, you know, if, you know, something bad, but you know, all right, we, we don't gotta go there. You know what I mean? But she might be right on this one. And that's an exercise that everybody should engage in. You should deliberately expose yourself to points of view that you don't agree with and ask mm. yourself the tough question of like, is it possible that I'm wrong about this? Do I need to change my thinking? It's a bad thing for the world in general, for all of us to just go through life where if anyone says something we don't agree with, we just fucking, oh, fuck that guy. Fuck her. Yeah. She said something I don't agree with. Unfollow. Yeah. Like that is no way to go through life. Not and then you all. see that that leads to a lot of the like, bigger social issues that we have and pick a side because they all do it. Republican, Democrat, yeah. communist, whatever the fuck you believe, right. everybody is pandering to their audience. True. All politicians and media outlets, like they're all just pandering to you and telling you what you want to hear. And the reason why is because it's just like the fucking, the movie, A Few Good Men from the 90s. I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. That is why True. everyone lies to you. That's why everyone panders. And so we end up in a place where nobody can tell the fucking truth. Everyone is afraid to say what they really think because that it feels like if you ever just say something honest, you're going to get blasted for it and everyone's going to hate you and get angry at you. And most people, understandably, do not have the willingness to take punishment that I do, that some of us do. Most people are not willing to take this much punishment. And so most people just say silent. They'll just go, all right, I'm just going to say nothing. How many people do you know who just live in their little Facebook filter bubble where all they share is links from these stupid media sources that agree with their bad opinions? Yeah. And you're like, how do you not understand how wrong you are about everything? And the reason why is because all they do is consume content that validates their opinions. They never challenge themselves to step outside their echo chamber, consume content from people that they disagree with and take it seriously. So that is the important part of this. This is exactly how we get to QAnon and all this other shit. It's Hell yeah, like man. QAnon, man. Hell yeah, dude. Did you guys see that documentary about that? Holy fuck, dude. Like that. Listen, if you need to watch something on TV, go watch the QAnon documentary. Holy crap. Taking a side to like the right or the left because they both do it. People on the left fucking pander. People on the right pander. Everybody panders. And... I'm not going to do it because it's not healthy for the world. I don't want an audience of people like, yes, maybe I would have more followers, more subscribers. I would get more views if all I did was just validate everyone's taste and say whatever, like everything is great. Your taste in music is so good. I love everything. Maybe I would get more views that way, but it is not what I want to do. And I don't think it's what the world needs because, and that's not the audience I want. What I've always wanted from day one with my content is an audience of people who think for themselves. I want yes. this to be a community of people 
who respect each other, but also challenge each other. Sometimes I wish I was one of these creators that had like fanboys and fangirls that just kiss my ass all the time and tell me how great I am, but I, I, that's not my audience. My audience challenges me all the time. They disagree with me. They push back on stuff. And although that can be tiring sometimes, I appreciate it. That's great. That's what I want. Yeah. I want this to be a place where we are all free thinkers. We can disagree with each other, but we have honest conversations and debates about things, whether that's music or anything else. That is what I want. I want an audience of people who think for themselves, who don't expect me and everyone else to just fucking pander to them and validate their opinions. Critical thinking is what I believe in more than anything else because critical thinking is the answer to everything. If we practice good critical thinking, we can solve any problem. If we do not practice good critical thinking, we will not solve any problem. So this yeah. is way bigger than just music. This is about the world in general. You have to be able to step back and say, I just heard something that I don't agree with, but it might be true. And in fact, I would say the things that trigger us the And that is a big problem. I, mean, I know that he's touched on it, but that is a massive, massive problem. Like, even if you do not like somebody, and if they say something that is factually correct, like verifiably correct, not like a could be blah, blah, blah. You gotta, you gotta separate yourself from your opinion about the person and just be like, all right, like, I do not like this person's opinions about this, that, or the other thing, but they are right. And that's okay. You're not gonna burst into flames if you agree with something that like, you know, I'll just, I'll just say it, you know, no matter who you voted for, I'm not, whatever. But even if you're not a, a Donald Trump fan or whatever you want to call it. You probably laughed at one of his tweets at least once. I mean, come on. You know, I mean, listen, let's just be honest. Okay. Not, not the greatest uh, presidential candidate that's ever roamed the earth, but had a couple zingers in there. You know, it just is what it is. I'm not saying it's not an endorse. And by laughing at it, it's not an endorsement of him as a presidential candidate. You're like, yeah, that was kind of funny or whatever you know that, that, that's just kind of how i approach it you know i i don't i don't uh, i i kind of treat it's like it's you know i like i said i go song by song i just try to go opinion by opinion either i agree disagree it is what it is the most emotionally are the ones that oftentimes are the most true yes participation trophy mentality sets us back a loss is a win for growth that's exactly right and the last thing i want to say here is that this is a reflection of something that's really toxic in music and just in society in general we live in a society my joker meme where people make these things into their entire identity so yeah. when i say i don't like era or thornhill or whatever your favorite band is People take that as a personal attack because their whole identity is wrapped up in liking this thing. And that is super unhealthy. This is not your music. You didn't make it. I get it if the guy in the band is pissed off that I said their band is mediocre. I get it because they invested themselves in making this art. And for me to say that it's mediocre, I understand why someone would take that personally. But they never do. That's the interesting part. It's always the fans that take yeah. it personally. And you can't go through life taking it as a personal attack. When somebody disagrees with you, that is so... And I'll tell you why. Because the bands that are worth a damn, they don't let that kind of... If, if a band... Imagine if Wage War lashed out every single time somebody said something negative about their music. They wouldn't They wouldn't last long. <laughs> they, they, one, they would have never gotten to where they are. And two, they would not... They, they, it, just, it just... It doesn't coexist, you know? Um... Yeah, it, it, it just wouldn't happen. So toxic. That is how you end up as a person with a lot of really shitty opinions that you hold way too strongly. This is good from the chat. I've learned that when I feel triggered, that is the flag that tells me I need to step back and reevaluate my thoughts. That is exactly right. I have to learn that lesson every single day. I'll give you an example of this. I used to reply, like debate a lot of people in the comments of my videos until this is maybe a year ago or something. Somebody left a reply, a comment on one of my videos. It was like, I like all your videos, but man, it's like really embarrassing that you like go crazy at people in the comments. You should just let it go. And it really bothered me that he said that. But I was like, God, he's right. 
looking at some of the replies, like me, like arguing with people in the comments, he's right to like get this angry with people in the Everybody comments. And so I stopped. So I absolutely cannot and be people who are super defensive that kind of criticism thing, yeah. and they aren't even involved in as anything more than a listener are people who are lacking purpose or anything constructive in their lives. I agree with that too. This is not about, oh, people got mad at me because I said era was mediocre and I'm angry that people left negative comments. It's not about that. It is way, way, way bigger than that. This is a reflection of something much larger, this phenomenon of how we live in these echo chambers and filter bubbles yeah. and how just toxic that is for society in general because it creates so many other problems. You know, music is just one example of this phenomenon. And that is the reason why, even though I know that what people want is for me to just validate their tastes, and I know that that would make me more successful as a creator, I would have more money, I would get more subscribers. I'm going to keep being honest. I'm never going to be mean or rude, or I'm going to try not to be. And if I ever am, I will apologize for that. But this is why I'm going to continue being honest because music, we can learn a lot from music. And one of the things you can learn is how to change your mind about things, which is an important thing. The world needs to learn how to change their mind more. And I want to cultivate an audience of people who are respectful, but are also good critical thinkers that challenge me and are willing to be challenged and want to have honest, thoughtful conversations about these things. So that is why I'm going, to be, I'm going to continue to be honest. And if that means that somebody unfollows me, then, you know, I'm okay with that. Yeah. So, I mean, hey, good video from Finn here. Uh, you know, obviously he kind of addresses it in a, in a you know, more overarching uh, standpoint, point of view. But I, I think he's right. You know, I, 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 it is a little jarring, you know, to kind of like get people who are like super... I, I swear to God, this was a comment that I got one time. Ready for this? So I did an Eskimo Cowboy reaction, and I, I couldn't put the video up because it got blocked. This is a very common occurrence, okay? Especially with, like, you know, certain labels and whatnot. The video gets blocked, but the audio would work. So what I do is I put, like, a still image over it, and I can still hear the song, but there's no video. This guy got mad. He, he, he thought that I was lying about not putting the video up. Like, like... What is wrong with you? Like, why would I purposefully sabotage my own content to make it worse? The fuck is wrong with you? But there's people like that. I, I, listen, I, I think Finn's a good guy. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry that he gets like a, a, a uh, you know, attacked that much. I, you know, for me, I can sit, I can sit here and be like, you know, I don't really let the comments bother me. But then again, he has a much larger group of people that are commenting on his content. So, you know, I, I can't really say. You know, I, I. I I um I can't I can't sit here and be like, listen, man, you just don't let the comments bother you. I I don't in the context of what I have as far as a social media platform or whatever. But his is like you know, fifty uh, fold. You know what I mean? So um, I can't really speak to that. I can empathize with it for sure because you definitely get some whack jobs. So let's just uh, you know let's be honest. But uh, but yeah, good video good video from Finn. Um, as always, 